Okay, Spor Setninger. Um, Spor Setninger question sentences uh, can be put together in many different ways. Uh, they can begin with many different ways, let me put it that way. And I'm going to try to explain um, this in a way that demystifies it for English speaking people that are learning Norwegian. Um, Spor Setninger are responsible for um, a lot of confusion um, just because there's so many variations on how to how to do it how to put them together and it all comes down to how you begin the sentence um, you can begin them with just about anything you can begin them with uh, everything that you would begin a normal hell setting um, with and uh, you can also use question words. I've listed these out all in one place for you. And, uh, or you can use helper words. And so there they all are. Um, and I'll explain what I mean by uh, using any of these words. Um, just hold on, here we go. Uh, question sentences are divided into two types. Yes, no where you're kind of just asking somebody yes or no, and then uh, question words where you want something more specific, more information than just no. So in any case, let's look at some of the different ways you can put them together. Um, here is the normal, uh, the normal sort of uh, order, except here I've like put in spore, help, and help, words, question and help words in the beginning. And a lot of uh, question sentences begin with uh, verbs. So anyhow, here's a few. Um, Kommer du fra Oslo? Come you from Oslo? It's classic. There's the verb right up front. Uh, and that, that's very different than English. And, uh, but then just when you think, oh, um, wow, so you put verbs up front, boom. Nor skal hun go to back. Uh, when shall she go back? That is just like English. So, um, <clears throat> and that is a uh, an example of right away how it starts. The variations start to come. Vor for spieler der ikke langer. This sentence right here is one of my favorite ones. When I first saw that. Um, it really opened my eyes big time to sentence structure in general. Uh, why playing you, plural, dera, uh, not longer. Vorfer spieler dera ikke langer. And so you can see the verb goes second, uh, the question word first, adverb right where it should be, and um, the second adverb at the end uh, really this is a case where, uh, I mean, if you practice this sentence over and over again, it will help you break through to uh, Norwegian sentence structure and, and uh, get, get used to it. If you repetera, repetera, repetera. Uh, let's keep moving. Vilken film skal vi se ikveld? Which movie shall we see tonight? And Vilken in this form, n film, film, the word film is an, an n word, n at a, unless you're from Oslo, then you don't use a, but we won't talk about that right now, I'm just pointing it out, and uh, you'll, you'll learn that, uh, that will come, um, it's really good to, uh, it's really good to just start to try to speak in Norwegian first, and then, at least for me it was, uh, and then fine tune, your, uh, your different uh, forms of noun. Um, so moving down here, Aldri si Aldri, Ikesant. Ikesant is very commonly used. <laughs> um, I hear it all the time. You hear it on radio and TV. Um, this basically, uh, at the end of the sentence, turns a statement into a question. And the, que and the question then begins with, an adverb. So, you see, now you know, it's no problem. Um, let's keep moving.
Die Reiser Tilkina wird Ohr. They travel to China every year. Uh, all that's going on here is you've got a regular statement and boom, a question mark at the end turns it into a question and a noun at the beginning. So you see, there are so many variations uh, that um, you really need to just be aware of them. Once you're aware of them, it's no big deal. You see it and you know, okay, that's the way it's supposed to be. Uh, let's go to the next one. Erhan Yemma Ikveld, is he home tonight? This is a classic question sentence. It begins with a verb and uh, ends with a um, time. Den Bielen er stili, sinnest du ikke? That car is cool. Think you not? There again, sinnest du ikke is just like ikke sant. Uh, put that on the end of a sentence. And bam, it's a question. <laughs> so, and you know, there may be um, purists out there that say this is not a classic question um, sentence. Blah blah blah. You know what? It, it's used, so I'm including it uh, because you will hear it, and you should know about it. Um, here's an example uh, of a helper word: Will han ikke Will he not eat his food? Um, basically, you know, there's the helper word. It can, a lot of times you'll see it um, in the verb as the second uh, word in the sentence or in that order, but it goes right up front for a question sentence. And um, it, very, very useful to know about these words and how they work. Vilken dag are dag? Which day is it today? And uh, you can see uh, Vilken, the word for which, changes with the, uh, with the noun. Um, in this case, en dog turns vil Vilken into Vilken from, it could have been Vilket or it could have been Vilka if it was plural. Like I said, again, I'm just pointing that out. Um, if you don't understand um, feminine, masculine, neutral, and plural, don't even worry about it. Just start using the words and fine tune them later on. If you wait to get everything perfect, it could take 20 years, you know, before you utter your first uh, Norwegian. And um, so, you know, this is really, that's why I'm sharing this information um, with you. It's to not so that you memorize all, all of this complicated all these words and everything. It's really so that you just understand the different forms that can happen. And I would also add that uh, it's, n it's never a bad idea to go out and discover them for yourself. In other words, teach yourself um, all the forms that are out there. And the more aware you are of them, the more comfortable you'll be um, speaking and uh, understanding um, Norwegian. Um, at least that's what I'm hoping will happen for you. And uh, anyway, so uh, I hope I didn't leave anything out. I'm sure I left a lot out, but um, that's the general. Uh, that's the general point of what I wanted to say about this. And uh, until next time, Hadebra.